Alright, so I just got back from watching the movie The Bad Guys. And now, I'm going to do a review on it. Are you ready? Let's go! Hey, I'm Kame the Turtle, and you are watching a furry film review. Today's movie is the 2022's The Bad Guys by Pixar Animation. This was based off a book series by Aaron Blaby. I probably screwed up that name, but hey, we're running with it. Alright. Where to start with this without giving away too many spoilers because this movie's brand new to the US. Alright, we got a crew of animals. A wolf, a shark, tarantula, snake, and piranha. The traditional, you see these guys, you'd run for the hills. The bad guys in every story. They open up with a traditional bank heist to define that they are in fact bad guys as they break down each individual crew member. And during a chase sequence early in the movie, they prove why you should always wear a seatbelt in a high-speed chase. After getting back to their hideout to revel in the spoils, they get a notification on the news from the mayor that they're essentially washed up. So they decide to make it personal and steal an item from an event that the mayor was hosting. Long story short, they screw up and get arrested. Thanks to a certain benefactor, a guinea pig, they get a, a second chance at life beyond bars, if they just turn good. So Mr. Wolf, our MC, hatches a plan to quote unquote turn good in order for the bad guys to stay bad. Throughout the movie, he ends up flirting with the mayor. No big reveal there because it's been shown in the trailers. After a twist villain's reveal, the bad guys are sent to prison only to get help from an unexpected source as they try to stop the twist villain's ultimate plans. Will they succeed or not? Well, I already know. If you want to know, go see the movie. In theaters now. Hashtag not sponsored. Alright, let's break down the review bit. I'm going to do a review based on story, Characters and art. Story. Here we have a classic redemption story. A crew of people who were always seen as being the bad guys for who they were on the outside, not who could they could be, as they strive to eventually become good. So overall, I would have to say, story-wise, it is brilliant. Characters. Each of the major characters had a defining trait to them, and each of their personalities stood out from the crowd. If I was to talk to someone who watched the movie about the chief of police, they would easily be able to determine her personality. If I was to talk to someone about Mr. Wolf, they can pin down his personality if they've seen the movie. Or any of the trailers, really. The twist villain? Yeah, you can pin him after watching the movie, based upon personality alone. If I was to just describe his personality, and ask you which character it was, you'd probably figure it out. So, each of the characters, I feel was done brilliantly. Alright, now for the art. It was a strange mix of computer animated and details of 2D animation. It flowed fairly well. There was no visible hiccups that I noticed when the characters were moving. They were fluid. Art and the backgrounds of the world is vibrant. So overall, I would have to give the art aspect brilliant. Now if this movie is brilliant, or in my opinion deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish, I would have to say this movie is brilliant. Yes, the twist villain was kind of predictable if you know what you look for, but hey, this is a kid's movie based on a book series for kids. So what can you do, right? If you agree or disagree with me about this movie being brilliant, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions for movies I should review in the future, let me know in the comments below with hashtag film review. Shout out to all the amazing artists who let me use their art 
in my video. You can find links to each and every one of them in the description below. If you want to watch my last furry film review, you can watch it in the cards above and description below. Or, if you just want to watch another one of my videos in general, my latest video will be pinned in the comments below. Check it out later. And if you want to support me more, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other very friends you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!